Hello everyone, welcome back to Guitar Tips. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to fix Assassin Creed Odyssey is having crashing on startup issue. So if you wanted to fix all these kind of issues, we can try with these possible workaround. And the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. For doing a simple restart, we have to go over here in the start, right click over here in the start, go to this particular icon, go for a simple restart. So once restart is done, try launching the game. So that is what we have to do as the first step. So once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us will be launching the game from over here in which will be causing the issue up. So we, need, we wanted to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the browse. Right now, as you can see, it is redirected to you to the installation folder. If you check over here, that is this path, that is this PC, local C program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common assassin, create, create or I say. So if you scroll down, you can see that if you keep on scrolling down, you will be able to see the insta uh, over here, you will be able to find the application. So from here in the installation folder, you just need to launch the game. So right now, as you can see, this is AC or IC, which is the application. So try launching the game from here instead of launching it from the Steam. For many users, it worked, so you can try this out. So just launch the game from installation folder and it worked for many users. So even after it's still, it's not working, you can try a few more steps from here. So I'll be showing you these two steps, which can be done from the installation folder. The next one is all about nothing but, we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties. Go to the compatibility. Now from here, we need to click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launching the game. Once you run the game as an administrator, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game in the compatibility mode, we have to go over here, right click and we have to go to show more options. We have to go to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on run this program in compatibility mode and you can either set this to Windows 7 and you can go for apply and go for OK and if it's not working you can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. After trying with this, if the issue is still there you can try with the next step. Next step is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So we'll just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings and we have to go to time and language and we have to go to date and time. And as you can see, we have to turn off this as well as we have to turn off this. So make sure this is turned it on. So if it is time zone automatically should be turned off as well. Sorry, if it is turned it off, we have to turn this on. Once you turn this on, we just need to go back and we have to go to the language and region. You have to select your region according to geography. So if you're from United States, select United States. So if you're from any other country, select the respective country according to geography. Once after this, try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issues there, you can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked for many users so you can try this the same. So when you click on the play button, as you can see, it worked for many users. So just press Alt and Tab together and click on the play button and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this PC. And what we need to do is we just need to go to the documents and we have to find the folder over here on the Assassin Crate or IC. So if you find the folder over here, you just need to delete it. And you have to keep in mind when you do this, you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Just delete it. And once you delete it, you just need to go back over here and go back and try launching the game. Still the issues there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to add the game or we have to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the control panel over here and we have to go to system and security. We have to go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to go over here and we'll be able to find the Assassin's Creed or IC. So if you find this, you have to make sure the private and public has to be selected. And also you have to keep in mind, you have to click on the change settings if the game is not there. So if the game is not there, we can add it. Just click on the change settings and we have to go for allow another app. Go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86. Go over here in the Steam and we have to go to Steam apps and we have to go to common. Now from here, we have to go to Assassin's Creed or IC. 
now from here we have to keep scrolling down and we have to go over here and we have to go for open and we have to go for add so once i'm getting the error because the game is already added so once you add the game just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices for this we just need to remove everything which is already connected for example joystick might be connected controllers might be connected logitech wheels for any other games might be connected or your uh, usb plugs might be filled with a lot of things so just remove everything from there now launch the game so if you wanted to play the game or continue the game with the controller launch the game first remove everything and launch the game once the game is launched successfully just connect it back and try moving ahead and that will be working fine for you guys as well next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the system configuration we have to go to the services and we have to go for hide all microsoft services and we have to go for disable all go for apply and go for ok so some case sometimes it might ask you for restart if that is asking for restart just restart your computer and once afterwards try launch the game so performing a clean boot worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug what we need to do is we just need to like i said what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay and that is what we have to do so just go over here right click over here and go to the properties and now from here we have to make sure if the it is enabled we have to disable it so it worked for many users so disabling the steam overlay is a very important step so just disable this and we have to launch the game and also you can try with doing this that we can we have to give commands in the launch option try launching the game for giving commands in the launch option we have to go over here so the first command is dx11 that is the first command dx11 and try launching the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launching the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing has to be worked and in my knowledge it worked for many users and it will be working fine for you guys as well once we close this we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application so we just need to go over here we just need to go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are 45 apps running in the background so if you find the freeze 45 apps running in the background at the same time when you are launching the game we will be definitely having the crashing issue so just remove everything for example discord riva tuner msa afterburner which all comes in the category of riva overlay and overclocking application just remove everything and once you remove everything we just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for running the game on dedicated graphics card what we need to do is we just need to go over here now we have to go to the graphics settings over here we need to go to the graphics settings now from here as you can see all the game is already added so if the game is added it is fine or else we can add it just go to the browse go to this pc go to local disk c now go to program file x86 go to steam and we have to go to steam apps and we have to go to common now from here we have to go to assassin's creed or ic and now from here we have to select this one and go for add so once it's already added so it is already added just go to the this section go to the options and as you can see by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save and we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here go to the view advanced system settings now from here go to the advanced go to settings once again go to advanced once again go for change now from here as you can see this has to be blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size this is initial size 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here and we need to find a calculator so type your ram that is 32 gb is the ram so just type your ram multiply with a constant value 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it the maximum size is nothing but we have to guess we just need to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 and we have to paste it as well so once you give the value over here and what we need to do is we just need to close everything and once you go over here we need to try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to update the windows so just go over here and we need to go to settings now from here go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date or else if you are having any kind of this kind of community update just update it 
once afterwards also try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description so if you're on the nvidia just go to this particular link give you every detail so here the geoforce product product series product everything should be given over here and once you go for this you have to go for start search and we'll be getting all the latest outdated released released versions over here so when you go over here we'll be getting this switch from here 536.99 is the released version so you have to download this one and you have to download and install and restart is a mandatory same if you're on the amd just go over here and do everything and go for submit when you go for submit you will be getting all the latest versions over here and if you find any respective versions you have to go for submit and you, if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and also you can try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus over here you can try installing this and if you are on the x64 you can download this one if you're on the x86 based process you can download this one last one is we can try with do two steps that verify integrity of game files you just go to the game over here go to the manage sorry you have to right click over here and go to the properties go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file and once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about we need to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back so just go to manage and uninstall the game keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back it should not be on the same local disk it has to be another local disk so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue on assassin or ic uh, and how you can fix this up i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye